Did you know that the original name for Pac-Man was Puckman? You'd think it was because he looks like a hockey puck, but it actually comes from the Japanese phrase Paku Paku, which means to flap one's mouth open and closed. They changed it because they thought Puckman would be too easy to vandalize, and you know, like people would just scratch off the P and turn the F or whatever. <laughs> uh, am I dreaming? <laughs> What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffles, and today we'll be looking at the SH Figure Arts Puckman or Pac-Man, and we're going to look at him because he's awesome, and not to mention, he's at a really, really low price of only $19.99 at www.dstartoys.com. So for awesome action figures. He's really low price for an SH Figure Arts, and that's absolutely crazy. So we're going to open him up. We're going to see if he's worth the money. Of course, he's probably worth the money. I mean, look at him. He's an SH figure artist and he's 20 bucks. But yeah, we're going to open up. We're going to look at paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. But let's jump right in. Let's go to the top cam. As you can see, I have a bunch of action figures we're going to compare them to, which is all Smash Brothers related, which mostly is what I believe most people are buying this guy for because they want to complete their Smash Brothers collection and Pac-Man. This Pac-Man looks like he is indeed to scale and that's pretty cool first off let's look at the box I rarely get the chance to look at the box this is a really nice looking box it shows all the action poses and whatnot it comes with the ghosts and the cherry and stuff like that and look at how cool it is it's actually quite a large box for what he is and that's really cool so there he is we're gonna open him up and he comes with interchangeable face plates extra hands and stuff like that that's really cool and first things first let's go to the front cam let's see how this guy is one thing I have to say, just by feeling him, he's really light. He is not a dense and heavy figure. I thought he would be. Thank goodness he's a light figure, so that means he won't be too heavy on uh, your desk or anything like that. That's pretty cool. Let's look at Pac-Man. He's pretty simple. He's just a yellow ball, and that's it. <laughs> Has a decently nice matte finish, and you can see the matte finish on the gloves mostly. Let's look at the gloves right there, and that's really cool. You can actually see a little bit of shading right here on the gloves. And it is kind of like a orange, like a really light or dark. No, it's more like a dark orange, I'd have to say. It's not a really super bright orange, and that's really cool right there. Almost like a racer orange. That's what I would consider that color. Let's look at the boots. We're looking at uh, red boots right here. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. I mean, it's Pac-Man. Look at that face. That's a really good-looking face. He's 20 bucks. Not too bad. Uh, one thing that I do notice here. So let's do a quick... Okay, I thought the joints were loose, okay, but it seems like I have a loose shoulder joint right here. Nothing that Fixer Elixir at D-Star Toys can't fix. Uh, but yeah, ever, besides that, everything else seems pretty good in terms of the quality control. I don't know why mine ended up being loose right here on the shoulder. You can actually see right here a little bit of separation right here on the joint. Maybe I'll just have to tighten that up, and that'll be it. Super easy fix, not a big deal, honestly. I mean, especially for 20 bucks, you're looking at a decently solid figure. I mean, what else could he be? <laughs> How much more articulation can you put on a on a circle with hands and feet? <laughs> and there he is. He's looking really happy. Now let's move on to articulation and scale. First things first, let's go into scale. Let's see how tall this guy is standing. He's standing at, ooh, at the very top right there, we're looking at four inches tall. Now, for those who were wondering, does he fit well? with Smash Brothers characters, and let's find out. So here's an SH Figure Arts Luigi, and a SH Figure Arts Super Mario. I know a lot of people say Mario. I say Mario. How do you say you're Mario? Do you say Mario? <laughs> I say Mario, okay? Uh, so there you have it. That's Charizard right there. Here's a Figma Pokemon Trainer, or Red, from Pokemon. Uh, red and blue. Let's see. This is a Figma, by the way. Let's see if we can get him to stand. Hold on one second. Let's push the Mario Brothers aside. So that's how he stands. And we have an SH Figure Arts Bowser. And last but not least, we have Link from Figma as well. This is Twilight 
princess version. And you know what? I'm going to say it. Yeah, this definitely does scale with Smash Brothers. I mean, let me know what you think down in the comments down below. I have to say this works. So if you're thinking about putting it into your Smash Brothers um, display, absolutely. This, this, this works for me. I like that. He's not too big. I was, I was thinking, wow, he's actually quite big. But no, this this works i'd have to say this definitely works um you know what i think is missing uh well actually we'll get into that in accessory i think that's what's missing so let's go um look at other action figures that we're dealing with here and we're looking at marvel legends wolverine there he is standing next to a marvel legends wolverine right there and of course since we're dealing with sh you gotta have dragon ball come on you have to have Dragon Ball Z, and that's how he looks like with the new full power Goku right there. So that's pretty cool. Now, let's talk about articulation. If you're thinking he's going to have a toe articulation, you are wrong. He's not going to have one. But we do have an up and down here at the ankle. Does he twist? He twists right here with a swivel at his knee, which also doubles as a bend at the knee. Uh, okay, so now we're dealing with an up and down here at the thigh, but he has an interesting joint right here. So if you look here, this moves forward and back and nothing more. So if you were thinking he was going to do a side kick, let's see if we can achieve that. So you're going to have to kick forward and then twist it like this and then move it like that if you want that Pac-Man sidekick, which I think he does in Smash Brothers. I think he does like a, a a jab straight and then he does like some sort of flip kick for his jab with his regular A combo. So yeah, um, that's just how, how you're going to achieve that. You're going to have to move that leg around. You're going to have to manipulate it. It's not going to be as easy as per se like something like Goku right here, which you could do a sidekick. Look how easy that is. I just move that up. Whereas with Pac-Man, you have to move this up and then move it to the side and then bring it like that if you want to get that sidekick. So interesting choice here when it comes to articulation. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I mean, it's just a big giant ball. I mean, how else are you going to do that? And also, I think it hides it decently well. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Let's go into the shoulder joint. Obviously, you're not going to have a butterfly joint. Not in this guy. Uh, he has an up and down here. He does have a bicep swivel and he does have a bend at the elbow right there. It looks like we have a ball joint for his hand. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Is there anything else we're looking at? Let's count the articulation. It's not gonna be much. We're looking at one, two, three, four, five. That's 10 right there. So we have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, eight. So 18 points of articulation, which isn't bad at all for something like this. For now, we're gonna do some poses. Of course, we gotta do a jab, boom. We gotta do an uppercut, sure you can right here. Uh, let's see if we get a sure you can pose. Right there, bam, right there. That's looking really cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, well, sure, superhero landing, why not, bam. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. He does the superhero landing really nicely. Look at that. Huh, huh. Front kick, and again, like I said before, side kick, you're gonna have to manipulate that to make it work. And yeah, there you have it. That is Pac-Man. That's our boy Pac-Man celebrating his 40 year anniversary. Let's see if we can get him to pose when he's just like, yeah. All right, there you go. Uh, just like that. Something like that, and that's really cool. Let's go to Top Cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. When it comes to accessories, we're looking at how many extra hands we have. One, two, three extra hands. We have a ghost here, the red one. I don't think this is blippy. I, f I forgot. And we have the cherry. Uh, and we have an extra face plate. Now, this is where I'm asking for too much. He's a $20 package. So, of course, he's not going to come with a lot of accessories. I honestly see this going in the route of SH Figure Arts Super Mario. Where later on down the line for the SH Figure Arts Mario, they came out with a playset. Where you get like the question marks, Goombas, Turtles, and whatnot. And I think that's what's gonna happen with Pac-Man. He's not gonna be complete because they're gonna be there's gonna be add-ons, like probably like a, 
a Pac-Man arcade board or something like that. Maybe more of the, the fruits, maybe more ghost. That'd be cool. I wouldn't mind a ghost set. And you know what? Maybe he'll come with all the accessories like in Smash Brothers when he throws stuff at you, like the key. He's going to throw like that little spaceship thingy that knocks you out and stuff like that. That would be really cool as a playset, but for now we're just getting a standard playset. So let's look at the face faceplate right here. We're looking at a winky face right here. Let's go to the front cam. Let's see how easy this is to remove. And that that that's it. That's as that's as easy as it gets. And there's his leg articulation. Wow, it just it just came out just like that, huh? <laughs> uh, so you're gonna have to put this like so. Pretty easy. I'm not even looking at the manual. I, this is. Pretty straightforward stuff. So you take this faceplate right here, and it pops right in, and there you have it. He's like, yeah, all right, cool. Uh, usually I don't look at the hands, but today is a special day because it's Pac-Man. And uh, I'm going to look at some hands here. Uh, his hands are pretty dense. When I say dense, it's like heavy plastic. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have a thumbs up right there. And look at this, look how easy that was. And you can have a thumbs up right there, pow, looking really, really cool. And I think this is a smash move where he uses one of the ghosts to hit you. This is forward smash. I don't know how we're gonna get the ghosts to stand. It doesn't come, it does come with, I think, a stand. No, it doesn't, does it? Am I missing something here? I thought it did. So yeah, that loose joint is a little bit annoying, but here we go. Let's see if we can get that. There, just like that. There's your, uh, there's my thumbnail right there. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Now we can take out the ghost and replace it with a cherry. And there you have it. Very, very simple. So let's come up with the conclusion of the SH figure arts Pac-Man. I'm going to come up with some negatives first. I always come up with a negative so we end on a positive note. Um, here's the biggest negative that I think, and this is just mine. I hate that mine came with the loose shoulder. Easy fix, I know. I know. Very easy fix. Uh, number two, I think he needs more of a matte finish, but look what I have here. We have matte finish right there, Mr. Hobby. So that's going to be real easy to fix. And yeah, I, I think that's really it when it comes to negatives. I think it's a little too shiny, but I can fix that super easy. Let's talk about the positives. This is $20, people. If you're looking to complete your Smash Brothers collection, this is the way to go if you're looking for a Pac-Man. I really like the way this Pac-Man looks. He looks really solid. He comes with pretty much everything you need right off the bat for the price point. Nothing wrong with that. And if you're looking to pick them up, you know where to get them. You can get them at www.dstartoys.com. We have a source for awesome action figures. This is my take of the SH Figure Arts Pac-Man. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And last but not least, I will see you guys next time. Peace.
and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You, and thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.